Hello everyone, today we're going to make a simple bar graph out of a series of trials data um, using one independent variable and one dependent variable. I'm going to show you how to lay out the table and I'm going to show you how to use the Google Sheets to create a simple bar chart in as few clicks as possible. So what we're going to do first is we're going to open up a new Google Sheet by clicking on Google Sheets here and you will see that this opens a spreadsheet um, option much like Excel. You go ahead and press on the plus and you end up with an untitled spreadsheet. First thing we're going to go and do is give the spreadsheet a title. Then what we're going to go and do is we're going to enter our data. Now I've done this for you already. I always put my independent variable and I've labelled it as such in the A column. Um, and then I put my data with a mix of letters and numbers. You don't have to do this. Um, but it will create a slight problem for you later on if you don't, and I'll show you a walk around to do that in a minute. What you then want to do is you want to have trial 1, trial 2, trial 3. Let's say we're trying to get the averages of those three trials. What we then need to do is we need to put the average here so that we've got something that we can chart. Okay, now getting the average of these three columns of data is actually quite easy. All we have to do over here is press the equal sign and then start typing average and the option for average comes up. It's usually the second one down. What we need to do is go ahead and click on the average and then highlight using click and drag the three cells that we want to average. Once we've done that, press enter and the average of however many cells you've highlighted will turn up where you entered the formula. Now it could be very easy, you could just do that formula over and over again, but what we can also do is, down on the bottom right hand corner of the cell that I've just highlighted here, if I click and drag on that square, it copies that formula to all of the cells that I drag it over. So I've automatically now done my averages for each trial. So press pause, go ahead and set up your table so that it looks like this. Enter equals AVE and then click average, drag it down, and when you've done that, start me up again. Now that we've done that, what I'd like to do is I'd like to do a bar graph of this data. I want to treat this as discrete data. Um, these are different trials that happen at different times, so obviously we need to represent them um, with a bar graph. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight by clicking and dragging my whole table. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the toolbar and I'm going to click on the chart icon and I'm going to insert a chart. Now Google Sheets will guess what sort of chart I want and I can change that later on and I'll show you how. So I simply click on insert chart and it's gone ahead and it's inserted a bar chart for every single variable that I've highlighted. Now that's not what I want. What I actually want is I want to compare the average of trials with my independent variable and make it nice and clear and easy to understand. So it's actually quite easy to remove a lot of this data. All I have to do is go over here to where it says trial 1, trial 2 and trial 3 and where you see the three dots all I have to do is click on remove and that removes those particular trials from the chart. Then what I can do is I can go ahead and I can use row 1 as headers um, and that will actually give me really good access down the bottom. Um, it'll show very clearly what the trend was, it'll show me what my optimal um, result was um, and you'll see that I have my independent variable on the bottom and I have my dependent variable on the y-axis which is where it should be. Now. There is one problem that people encounter and that is that they don't always enter uh, numbers and letters in the independent variable. Sometimes they just enter numbers. If you were to do that, um, that can create a slight problem for you. So let's just put in you know, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30 here. Now, I haven't changed the data in any way. All I've done is I've got rid of the letters and numbers. This time when I click over the data and I press the chart button, you'll see that Google Sheets hasn't been told what is the X and Y variable, so it's sort of decided for you. That's okay, that's not a problem. All we simply do is once again, remove the three trials that we don't want.
And then what I want to do is I want to use row one as headers. So if I click on that, and if I use column A as labels, straight away it comes back to my values. I don't like this so much because remember on my last chart that I had, when I wrote 10 degrees, um, it actually used 10 degrees as a label on my x-axis. This time, because I've only written 10, I've had to both tell it that column A is labels, the x-axis, but it's also only used what I've written in that column as a label, and 10 is not really a good label for the x-axis. So I would recommend um, doing your chart in this fashion, um, where in column A you write your numbers and your letters. Uh, however, if you don't, you can rescue it and without having to do it again, simply by clicking on these two squares. I hope that that's been helpful. Thanks very much.